Hi, and welcome to another one of my cyber security videos. Before I start, let me quickly tell you about my free guide called How to Get Into Cyber Security for Beginners, where I showcase my five must-know tips for anyone considering a career in cyber security. The link is in the description below. Okay, now let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my cyber security videos. Today I'm going to be looking at WAFs and firewalls. What's the difference? WAFs and firewalls play a critical role in cybersecurity. A WAF, which stands for Web Application Firewall, is built to secure an application, while a traditional firewall is meant to secure an entire network. Web Application Firewalls and Standard Firewalls not only differ in the type of protection they offer, but also in the overall function. Let's discuss the key differences between a WAF and a regular firewall. So the first difference, while they both are firewalls, they do function in different ways. To understand what makes WAF and a firewall different, it's best to first understand what a WAF and a firewall is. A WAF is defined as a web application firewall and is used to sift through data, monitoring and sometimes blocking traffic from coming from or going to the application. A firewall, on the other hand, is used to serve as a border of security between a trusted network and an untrusted network. For the most part, the WAF is primarily focused on security of an application, whereas a traditional firewall is focused on the security of a network. The second difference is that WAFs and firewalls are placed in different locations on the network. Generally, a standard firewall is placed on the edge of the network, acting as a barrier between known and trusted networks and any unknown networks. WAFs are placed before applications and servers, offering protection from any general threats designed to attack servers. This can be considered the fundamental difference between the two, as this difference dictates the primary roles of each. Firewalls act much in the same way that a country's border acts, scanning for things that are not allowed to come in or out. A WAF acts in a similar manner, but more orientated to the application side of the network. Third difference is WAFs and firewalls protect against different threats. Standard firewalls are designed to permit or deny access to networks, thus preventing attacks from unauthorised permission. Some examples of a firewall doing this include blocking pornographic or questionable content from school computer labs and logging into a LAN of computers in a computer lab. WAFs generally focus on threats aimed at HTTP, HTTPS applications and servers. These threats include DDoS attacks, attacks for SQL injection, cross-site scripting attacks, the fourth difference is both WAFs and firewalls focus on different layers of the OC model. The OC model is a graphical representation of the inner workings and function of a standard network. It could be considered the encyclopedic map of the network. Firewalls typically focus on layer 3, that's the network layer, and layer 4, the transport layer, of the OC model. Layer 3 generally concerns the transfer of packets between nodes in the network. Layer 4 of the OC model concerns the transfer of data to a destination host via a source. WAF's focus is primarily on layer 7, the application layer, which is the level closest to the user. Layer 7 is typically the software interface with which the user is interacting with on the network. Fifth difference is each differs in the amount of access control offered. Because a WAF's primary function does not include limiting or restricting access or permissions to a network, it does not offer access control. This, however, is one of the standard firewall's primary functions. These settings are often customizable to the suit the user's needs. Often a firewall will be enacted to deny access to folders, websites and networks, only allowing those with proper credentials permission. Sixth difference is WAFs and firewalls run different algorithms. Since each of these firewalls differs in design and function, a person could expect that the algorithms that each of these firewalls run are also different. This holds true as WAFs run anomaly detection algorithms, heuristic algorithms and signature based algorithms. Standard firewalls on the other hand run proxy algorithms, packet filtering algorithms and stateless and stateful inspection algorithms. These algorithms essentially define the key roles that each the WAF and the firewall play in the network. Seventh difference, both WAFs and firewalls have DDoS protection in different areas. DDoS, or denial of service attacks, are a type of attacks that can leave a network crippled and in critical condition. This type of attack is exactly what the name implies. It denies access to the network, usually by flooding access points to the point of overload. Each of these firewalls offers some protection towards DDoS attacks. However, the location or focus of the protection differs from between the two. Since WAFs primarily deal with applications, their DDoS protection focuses on the application layer, layer 7 of the OC model. Similarly, since the standard firewall's focus is on the base levels of the network, layers 3 and 4, DDoS protection is at the network layer. Number 8. WAFs and firewalls have different modes of operation. The WAF is able to operate in two different modes, passive mode and active inspection. 
Passive mode essentially means that the WAF operates passively, that is, without action. This effectively renders the application network not secure and should only be used for testing purposes only. Operating in the active inspection mode, a WAF will continuously scan and protect against any threats on the application level. A standard firewall also has two modes, rooted mode and transparent mode. The rooted mode is the firewall's main mode, operating on layer 3, executing static and routing protocols and acting in a similar manner to a network router. Transparent mode works on layer 2 and only allows the transparent forwarding of data due to bridging of interfaces completely bypassing layer 3. The ninth difference is WAFs and firewalls have different levels of application protection. Because they are different in design, function and location, WAFs and firewalls are also differ in the amount of protection offered at the application level. As firewalls operate on le levels 3 and 4 of the OC model, the focus of its protection permits minimal attention to the application level. This allows firewalls to focus on the data transferred between networks validating addresses and data packets. A WAF's primary function is to protect the application layer, layer level 7 of the OC model thus providing security to the entire application layer of the network. The application layer includes application server software and interfaces with which the user has direct access to the network. Finally, the tenth difference, each has different use cases. The protection offered by each of these firewalls gives them a different use case. WAFs are generally placed in zones that have contact with the internet, protecting HTTP and HTTPS applications and servers. The focus of its protection is the safety of the application or server. WAF is designed to enhance firewalls rather than acting as a replacement. Firewalls are generally used to protect the individual user as well as the network of individuals such as a LAN or an IT network. Traditional firewalls are highly effective but offer protection only at the most basic level of the network. For this reason a WAF is often used in conjunction with a firewall for increased security amongst multiple layers of the network. With multiple firewalls in place a network becomes more secure with strongholds against possible threats to numerous locations within it. So in conclusion, web application firewalls and traditional firewalls, while similar in definition, are fundamentally different and designed with unique roles for a network. Knowing the key differences between them is important to understand which solution is best for any scenario that may present itself when setting up a network and be just the line of defence necessary to prevent a crippling cyber attack. For more information and notes about the differences between a WAF and a firewall, please visit my website. Uh, the link is in the description below. Thank you. Thanks for viewing this video. Don't forget I have a free guide called How to Get into Cybersecurity for Beginners, where I showcase my five must-know tips for anyone considering a career in cybersecurity, the link is in the description below. Till the next time.